So I wanted to share this video of Vody telling a funny story because it's a testament to how a biblical pastor can be both funny while at the same time using the comedic story to tie into the sermon for a greater purpose. Now, in my opinion, Vody Bakum probably does this better than most pastors preaching today. And I wanted to use this video as a teaching point because someone was telling me last week how frustrated they were with their own local pastor. And it's because he takes so much time trying to be funny and telling jokes that have absolutely nothing to do with the sermon at hand. And it's irritating and frustrating for the people that are in attendance. Um, and so many pastors do this and they're wrong. They do it wrongly. But here's an example of Vody being funny while still holding frame in line with his sermon. And I believe that's how you're supposed to do it. If you're going to be funny as a pastor, have a point and have it lead into something that's in line with the actual sermon. It's interesting. One of the things, Conrad and I were in a village one day. We're, we're, I'm serving in Lusaka, Zambia. It's the capital city. Um, you know, we've got all kind of stuff there. There's a KFC there, Domino's Pizza. Um, we're not quite all the way there yet because there's no McDonald's. I don't even really particularly crave that food, but I just like knowing that they're there. <laughs> There's no Starbucks, um, so, you know, we got a ways to go, but we're in the city, the big city, millions of people. He took me to what we call the village, and we go to the village and we get to the village and we have to go find out where the head man is, the chief, and you go in and kind of check in and, you know, and Conrad's talking. I don't, I'm not saying anything. I'd rather not say anything because I don't understand what's being said. In Lusaka, we speak English. Here, we're not speaking English anymore. Then we go and there's this lady that he's talking to and he says something to the lady and asks the lady, you know, something about me and they're pointing at me and the lady looks at me and she greets me. And I kind of know how to, at this point, this is several years ago, I, I barely knew how to greet someone in, in Yanja, so I, I greeted her as best I could. And she just busted up laughing. And then she says something to Conrad, and then Conrad just busted up laughing. I'm looking at him like, you're going, you going to let me in on this? On this? And she's, he looks at me and he says, no, when she heard you speak, she was taken aback. Because in her words, he looks like us, but he's a white man. Same thing some of the people in the social justice movement are saying about me today, but that's a whole nother, whole nother thing. <laughs>